Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome back to subsistence. Wait for that sun to come over the mountaintop. Then it'll start to get a little bit warmer down here. So today we're going to go on a, on a mountain lion hunt, or otherwise known as a cougar. I need to check everything out. Make sure this is all good. So I want to make a pair of leather boots and I need sinews. So we're going to go off to the mountain lion for that. But what I need are some cords so let's grab those and what else did I need I need a little bit of this I would also like to get a sweater if I can I have uh, cotton right here in order let's see we need uh, a rope and we need three sinew for that so today we got to get our hands on like uh, five sinew, but I think that'll be a challenge from it. One line isn't going to give us enough to do that. Uh, let me see. I got to do a little quick repairs. Some of the stuff. Let's make sure this is on tip top shape. That's repaired. What do we got here? Let's grab those and repair that. Shotgun's pretty good. Our axe, pickaxe is almost busted, so let's get that done. Put some of this back. Okay, so we got all this stuff. We don't need that. I don't need to bring you along with me. We've got some tomatoes. Okay, and as for power... Okay, let's go get this stuff turned on. Because what I'd like to do, like maybe tomorrow, the next episode, like I'd like to make a refrigerator. Would be very nice. I'm doing as best as I can to not waste my materials, but or to waste the, the fruits and vegetables I find, but still... They just have a tendency to, uh, you know, I collect too many and then um, they break before I, or they, they break. <laughs> they uh, go, be fat, go bad before I have a chance to, you know, actually take advantage and eat all of them up. Let's see, I'm going to watch what I'm doing up here. We saw a bear yesterday. I've, I've spent a couple days in the game. Ooh, that reminds me of something. I think before we get going... I would like to get this started. Okay, that's automatically set to start. That's right. So now we've got some of that going. At least we'll have something after. Um, let's hold on to that. Yeah, let me just put these down here while we're here. Okay, good. Yeah, might as well uh, get the refinery going so it can get me some more fragments. Iron, copper fragments need all that stuff for crafting and everything. So yeah, I said that there was a, it was a grizzly bear. Actually, there were two of them. One right out this area and one down by the river. So we're going to have to kind of watch out. Not only that, but uh, the line that I've seen hanging around here was also down by the river. And guess who's right over there? Yeah, going behind those trees. That's the, that's the mountain line. And we're going to need... At least, I think we're going to need two. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get enough um, sinew from just one line to be able to craft the sweater and the boots. I should be able to get enough to make either the boots or the sweater, but not both. Uh, okay, let's not... Cur okay, you ready? Oh god, I missed him, didn't I? I missed him. <laughs> I, I totally missed him. He started coming and it's like, oh crap, we gotta turn and run. I, I have two shotgun shells in my shotgun. That's all I got. I ran into a, a couple of rogues yesterday. Uh, didn't didn't even take a look to see where they were on the map. I just ran into them. And I ended up using four shots. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. There was a little bit of a... <laughs> dip there I didn't see okay we're good yeah we're good let's go a little above okay there we go kind of go around in a circle a little bit actually let's let's take him over here it's cold but uh, we're not gonna have problems seeing him He sounds like he slowed down a little bit. Come on over here, buddy. Come on over here. 
I know you're dipping down a little bit. You're a little bit hurt. <laughs> Got him in the butt. His hit points are going down. Crap. Crap, I missed him again. Okay, just take your time. Take your time. I think once we get him, we can turn to the shotgun. There we go. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's get a screenshot, man. Okay. First mount. Oh, let's try that again. Let's see if I can get... Maybe over here is the better shot. Yeah. First mountain lion down for this season. All taken care of and everything. Okay. Well, they're all going to be like level ones and stuff. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of this and see how much sinew we can get out of them. Are we going to get any luck? Oh, we got five. Oh, we got five. Oh, my gosh. We totally got five of them. Okay, so let's go. Let's go first for the boots. Okay, so we can craft those now. The bag right over here. Okay, that's a wolf over there in the distance. Oh, I was so certain. I was so certain we were going to have to either find another mountain lion or find a moose. Okay, so we got boots. Uh, uh, no, I, I would like them to be down there. Let's do that. Let's do that. And sweater needs just one rope. Got to go get my hands clean pretty soon. Okay, got that going. I think there's a river. Clean our hands off. I think there's a wolf over here. If we want to. We can go bag him, maybe. Okay, so we got that done. And let's get ourselves a nice warm sweater. Yeah, that'll be really good. That'll make it a little easier when I'm going out early in the morning or coming home late at night so I don't get too cold. And... Okay, got a little meat there going well. One, two. All right, that's a little bit warmer. Let's put that, I don't know, we can just kind of set that up there. So it's a little better than that. Yeah, I looked at this and I thought, this is the next one. I can make this one, but look at that. It's like 0.7 warmer, but it's uh, two protection, more protection. And then this is two warmth and five or six percent tech protection. Um, that's a lot of effort just to make it. So why not just do this? When I go from one, we'll go straight up to number two. Get a little more protection. Yeah, it's gonna, it's not gonna give us as much protection, but for right now, I don't need as much protection as I need to be, uh, you know, I need to be, uh, warm. Okay, so that's all, that's all done. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. There we go. Yeah. Okay, we got that done. Good, good. Yeah, there's the bear I was talking about. Uh, yeah, we're not. I'm not gonna shoot him. I got one, one shotgun shot. We got a ton of meat right here. I have more meat than we're gonna know what to do with. I think we will head back to the base. We will get some cooking going because I'm a little bit hungry, and can start thinking about what we want to plan to do. They said I think tomorrow. I want to make a refrigerator. I think that's going to be pretty big. Bigger than most of the other stuff that I want to do. Okay, nothing's behind me. What have you got for me? Okay, good. Nice. Oh, we got... Oh, we got that. We got that. We got that. I should try to make some antidote. What do I have? Let's get... Um, put you back okay you're right there 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 some more nails put this right over here that right there you you and we'll just put you there for right now um let's see i want to make an antidote what do i have yeah do we have medicinal tonic do i, do I have that over here i thought i could have sworn oh yeah i do Okay, I definitely do have that. How are you guys doing? You're not done yet, right? Okay, medicinal to tonic. We need that. So, one, two, three, right? We need three or two of them. Okay, we gotta go get ourselves some kelp really fast. 
I want to get this to finish cooking. Just kind of hang right here until it's done. And then we're going to go run and get our hands on some kelp so we can finish making this. Where do I want to put you? Put you right over here. Okay, there we go. How are we doing? Are you almost... You're almost out. Okay, you hit 200, so that's taken care of. One. Two. Can I have you two or no? Nope, I can't eat them, so I'll have to hold on for that later. Let's go ahead and have that. So, while we've got this, let's go get that taken care of. I have... Checking it one more time, okay. Everything here is good. I'm just gonna go get some more water. Let's see, you probably need that. I mean, did I have any? Uh, let's see. Okay, so 500. So I want this. I want to make a refrigerator tomorrow. We need 1200. So let's. Okay, we only got five in here, but we got more here. So let's dump as much as we can in there. Yep, the whole thing. And by the time we get back, that should be at full full power, like 1,500. And first, we'll check this out here. Ooh, I'd like to try jumping off here. I just think that this might be too high, you know? Ooh, that... Yeah, that's probably too far. Or is it... Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> okay, we made it. We're okay. Uh, okay, got kelp number one. We might have made it from there. It's all about this little thing I'm worried about. Worried about hitting that really hard. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, stop pushing me back, please. Okay, that's done. Okay, we got two right here. And I need three more. There's a pearl, perfect. I know I have enough pearls to make a, um, I'm pretty sure I have enough to be able to make the solar, to make a solar panel. Maybe even actually have more, enough to make two of them. It's all about circuit boards. How many circuit boards can I make? Do I have enough pearls to do them? Or do I need to, uh, you know, do some more pearl diving? I've done a little bit. I've gone out in the lake and I've checked out these smaller pools here. I don't know if I'd ca call it a pond. It's it's more like a... I don't know what to call it, really. It's not a lake. There's no way that's in the world that's a that's a lake. I'm trying to remember my geology... Um, everything I learned in my geology and geography class about pools and ponds, eskers, and... Oh, I can't remember everything that I used to... Uh, that I learned way, way, way back in college days try to think about oh there you go there goes a deer don't need him check that um we could use a little oops yeah you might want to click on that okay so we got two two okay let's get going stop dilly dallying steve get in the water it's pretty nice actually um nothing over there starting to run to the end here actually I should probably turn around pretty soon because there's the fence and if we're gonna want to get any cope that's deeper that's starting to push it a little bit too much to going too deep let's head back over this way ah, since we're here let's grab this okay yeah, not not really seeing very much in terms of kelp. We're gonna keep going though. Keep going until that uh liver goes bad on us. Yeah, another pearl. <laughs> not bad. That'll help us out a little bit. Kelp. Oh my lord. This this lake. Okay, so I've kind of gone to the very edges of the lake. It's it's not really big. It seriously is not very big at all. Um, I have i can't remember where I read it, but somebody suggested that the lake was a big lake. Now, it has a decent-sized shoreline, but the lake doesn't go out that far. Okay, so we got three. How are you going? You holding on there, liver? You hold on a little bit more? Okay, make sure there's nothing on the shoreline I have to worry about. 
Yeah, the lake doesn't go out that much far. You, if if I were to go out maybe 10 or 20 more feet out into the water, you would see the fence line. So yeah, it's. I'm a little disappointed. It's not as big as I was thinking it'd be. And I would like there to. I would like there be a little island out here. You know, kind of like what you get when you go to the South Lake. Now, I don't know if we want to call that the South Lake anymore. Well, that's what I call it. I don't know what the game calls it. I know it actually has name for the different uh, areas, locations. You know, there's there's Center Lake, which I keep accidentally ca calling Round Lake. But there's the Center Lake. That's kind of in the center of the math. There's North... I don't know if it's called North Lake. And then South Lake, which are to the north and south of the center center lake which is actually more like a pond than anything and okay there's another one there's twin peaks <laughs> way over that way i don't know if we can actually see it i know the mountains you can see there may or may not be a part of twin peaks i haven't gone far enough to open up that part of the map i'd have to get warmer clothes and maybe a, a heat pad craft a heat pad so I can uh, go up there for a little bit and open that whole area up so I can see what I have for options like maybe maybe I can go up into my mountains and be able to ooh, there's okay right there right there's kelp and we're gonna get the kelp go up and make the tonic before uh, our liver goes bad and then we're gonna grab this uh, this clam over here can you just do it right now? There we go. Just do it right now. <laughs> so as I was saying, I wonder if if I go up into the mountains on my side, will that get me closer being able to like have a shortcut to go over to the South Lake? Um, because I think I would like to open up all the map. Eventually, the goal will be one of the goals of the game. There'll be many, many goals. You know, craft all the craftables and open up the whole map you know be able to see everything so at night when i'm looking around and trying to figure out where the rogues are i can make sure that there aren't any in my area that i haven't found like last night last night i uh i didn't check the map until it was early this morning okay that's taken care of let's go hit that Ooh. So I don't know if there are any rogues in my area. There could be. Uh, let's put that there. We'll leave that back at the base. I'm going to try very hard not to drag everything that I find with me. Usually I have like two rolls full of different supplies and things that we need. And I'm going to try to cut that down. Um, just so I have more roll for room for putting things in. So naturally, we want to take ammunition with us for fighting but we probably should limit how much ammunition like i have what have i got i got 20 of these that's split in half and 21 of those so these right here we should totally like leave those in the base because um there's just i don't need 40 bullets i really don't i don't think i'm gonna engage have a fight with anything that's gonna require me to have 40 bullets you know if i think i do i can plan for it and i can actually like Go pick stuff up. Let's go get this chicken. Also yesterday, um, actually I spent two two in the game days. You know, not real world get days, but game days. And I think the game lasts about, I think it's about, oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> Fudge. Um, I think the game itself is, what is it like? Oh, it's like 26. 26 minutes long or is it 36 holy cow i count i spent one one day trying to figure this out actually counting the number of minutes in the day and yeah you know a whole hour of my time is just about two days in this game don't go right oh god he went right <laughs> no would you miss him again oh that time nice now we're not going to do anything about this wolf. Let's just run away from him. We'll head back to the base. Oh, a bunny. I wouldn't mind a bunny. I spent a lot of money, or not a money, a lot of supplies. Used up a lot of cloth. Let's let's go nail this guy. Let's go nail him.
right there. Cool. Oop. Got to hold that down, Steve. Okay. Got a little bit of cloth there. Get some more cloth. Perfect. He's dead. Let's just butcher him. Why not? Yeah, it's starting to get... Oh, yeah. It's definitely getting late. And we're, like, on the other side of this freaking... Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's one of the ponds. Big ponds. And that's not our pond. So, yep, we have a bit of running to do. And there's a bag over there. Oops. Shoot. Pulled off it a little bit fast. Okay, yeah. Let's let's get back to the base. Get back to the base. Get ready for the evening. I could definitely go grab this chicken. No running into wolves, please. I remember the first time I found out about how you can catch chickens. And I swear... Well, actually, in the very beginning, beginning. My very first chicken... Oh, good lord! My very first chicken. What did he do? He ran right into a bear. A grizzly bear. And... You know, that's before I understood that we could outrun bears and wolves. We can outrun basically everything. But it still, it seemed like every single chicken that I tried to catch would always run toward, um, you know, an animal. <laughs> you know? And it's just like, that was, it was just ridiculous. I might watch like some of my early videos just to see that goofiness, how that worked out. But today I understand, you know, I can totally handle that. I can totally chase a chicken right by something and, you know, not be too worried about whether they'll catch me. As long as you got your stamina up, you're not going to get caught, you know. Oop, let's grab this one. Almost time to get home. Nice, nice, nice. Got to do some more building. I'm just working on some other things that I want to get done. Like I want to be a little bit warmer. And that's what today is all about. Plus. I thought I heard heavy breathing. So. I don't want to run into a mountain lion. But if we do. I'm sure we'll be okay. As long as I don't do anything too stupid. Okay. Work on getting everything set up. Like, here's four glass panels I got on the last uh, specialty container I found. You can turn that on. And check this. Okay. We're okay. We got enough of each one of these. That power is... How'd they come up? You know, turn that off, Steve. <laughs> That's, uh... Yeah, let's try not to use that. We'll sit in the dark if we have to. And I think within the next couple videos, we definitely have to get our hands on um we definitely have to get our hands on a solar panel get at least one up and going of course it's not going to work at night but um in my opinion and you may have differing opinions i don't think the the wind turbine is worth it not worth the amount of materials you hardly you hardly get any amount of uh power out of that I think I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Later, dudes.